Hey there, you're listening to The Mighty Mommy with some quick and dirty tips for practical parenting. This week, I'm pleased to introduce guest author Danielle Griggs. Danielle is a working mom of three children who, along with her daughter Bella, created Tidy Kids to help kids develop good habits that will last them a lifetime and also encourage a harmonious family environment. You can visit the Tidy Kids website at www.tidykids.com. That's T I D Y K I D Z dot com. Danielle has some wonderful tips to share with us. Now let's see what tips Danielle has to offer those of us who need some tips on how to convince our children to be little helpers when it comes to cleanup time. Some things just never change, and this particular issue is no different. You cannot expect your little people to keep their rooms picked up if your room looks like the set for the show Clean House, prior to the clean part. You may get lucky a time or two, but ultimately our kids do what we do, and not what we say. Go ahead and argue with yourself. I'll wait. Great. So glad you're back, and hopefully you've reached your senses and understand that monkey see, monkey do is more than just a quaint phrase. We all have watched our kids emulate grown-up behavior, and it's no accident that children of all ages, socioeconomic backgrounds, ethnicities, religions, and so on do it. It's universal. They will emulate the good and the bad, no matter how much we try to tell them what to do and how to do it. They're watching us. So ask yourself this question. Am I doing the things I'm asking of my kids? I know, that was not nice, was it? Depending on your answer, you're feeling somewhere between the June Cleaver type and the Tasmanian Devil. If you are a June Cleaver, you may be thinking all is well with the world. I'm not really concerned about offending any Junes out there because the Junes are doing all the work themselves and probably aren't listening to this anyway. As for the Taz, you know who you are. Just admit it. Chances are you already feel bad enough about the state of your own stuff, so let me approach this from somewhere around the middle. You've just got to do it. Here are a few tips to get you started. Start by making your bed. It's big, and just doing that alone makes a noticeable difference. Next, pick up everything from the floor and pile it on your bed. Set your timer for seven minutes and don't stop moving until it's all put away properly. Yes, you do only have seven minutes, so move it. Don't turn off the timer until you're done. Next, address the dresser. What in the world is all that stuff doing up there? Get a trash bag, since half of it can be thrown away anyway. If you're a pocket paper collector, get a colorful jar and use it to store your 80 million tiny pieces of paper that pile up on the dresser once you've purged your pockets. Go through it once a month and purge old receipts, note to self, and any other items you no longer need. One way to keep the bedroom from going bonkers is to not, not, not bring in anything that's not bedroomy. There's no reason for your gardening shoes to be in your closet or for the week's mail to be on top of the 80 million little pieces of paper on your dresser. If it doesn't come in, it won't have to be taken out. Make it a rule, then follow it. Get in touch with your inner child and make a chart. Use it to make sure you pay at least five minutes of attention to your room every day. I can say from experience, five minutes a day is all you really need to keep your room from becoming the very thing your sweet little people are using against you when you ask them to clean theirs. I'd like to thank Danielle Griggs for these fun and helpful tips. I'm actually trying to follow these tips myself. I'm definitely guilty of not being as tidy as I'd like to be. We're all working on it together around our house. Please be sure to check out the Tidy Kids website at www.tidykids.com for more tips and some really cool videos. If you'd like to request a topic for The Mighty Mommy, you can email me directly at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com or leave a message at 206-202-2185. Get the Mighty Mommy's Quick and Dirty Tips for Practical Parenting and other great shows from the Quick and Dirty Tips Network streamed to your iPhone. Download Stitcher for free today at stitcher.com. This is your friend, the Mighty Mommy, wishing you happy and fun parenting. Mm-hmm.